This XFL Picks Week Six edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Massachusetts, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia. From boosted same game parlays to live in-game odds, WinBet has what you need to win. Bet 100 and get 100 at winbet.com or download the WinBet app and start winning today. State restrictions apply. We're also brought to you by our Final Four Watch Party. April 1st, 7 30 p.m. SGP will be at the Ice House in Los Angeles. Come hang out with the gang. All the info over at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash Ice House. Hey, it's Peyton Manning, and you're listening to SGPN. Let's rock. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money, Kramer. What's happening, Kram? Dog. Uh, I'm in the box. Yes. I'm, we, I'm in the box. Instead of the man in the box, we have the men in the <laughs> box joining us. Host of the Bottom Line Bombs, newly minted, has its own feed. Uh, make sure you download that. Subscribe. Uh, CJ Sullivan, what's happening, CJ? Hey, how we doing? And welcome to the well, box. I like I'm going back to the box. I never <laughs> go back in the box. to the box. It feels good in the box. Put him in the box. Can we fit two guys in the well, box? Now we can. And you know all what, right. Sean? You're in the box now too. Yes. We're all uh, we're lock all, me out of the box. <laughs> we're all in the box together. Be careful. <laughs> Careful that there, there's madness in that box. <laughs> oh, I'm, there is. You can lose your mind in that box. Excited to have CJ here. Um, yeah. You know, especially with the the Colby serving a one day suspension. We don't need to get into it, no. but um, yes, it was awesome hanging out with you, CJ, in uh, <laughs> at March Madness, hanging out. Uh, I was list tuning in to the debut episode of Bottom Line Bombs on its own new feed. Yeah. You had some great recaps. Of course, uh, we were sitting next to a guy who, a uh, six-year-old gentleman, ordered multiple prostitutes. He was incredible. <laughs> he, yeah, he came up. He was our neighbor. We knew we were gonna have a good neighbor, and I'm so glad. Like I said, I, I came in there. I was just gonna do the less than 24 hour thing. That's how you do it as a professional. But <laughs> you know, but if you slip up once, which I did, I got cocky. I pushed my <laughs> 6 a.m. flight to noon because it's Southwest. It's like hitting the snooze button. No, oh, uh, 10 o'clock flight, 11 o'clock flight, 12 o'clock flight. So that messed me up, but if I'm glad I did do that, because if I didn't, I would not have met our neighbor oh, yeah. of the morning and the bad service of that. Well, uh, and they retro. and the, the 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 group next to us who had the the guy who was a huge prostitute mm-hmm. advocate, uh, sex worker. Sorry, women he didn't know. <laughs> yes, women he didn't know. He was also taking. I, I forget what we actually said on the March on the you, uh, you on the St. Patty's Day show. I may have uh, blacked out there at some I, point I, I did during the, the live broadcast for that one. Yeah. Yep. Um, but uh, yeah, it was it was awesome. He, they bought us around the shots, and it was like you don't need to buy us shots. You gave us like twenty and, minutes and, of content. And first on of all, multiple the, episodes. the friend looked like. The if you remember the 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 old World Series of Poker broadcast, yep. he looked like the the guy who did the play by play, not the comedian <laughs> right, guy, right, the right. other guy, like the World Poker, <laughs> mm-hmm. whatever. Uh, but it really, it, I mean, the the you didn't sell the way that this guy delivered all of his lines. He was a con- he wanted to be a comedian. Oh yeah. yeah. So he, it was like, hey guys, just so you know, hey, you hear the one? He had he, great I got some girls he coming a, by, and I don't head. know him if you know what I'm talking he, he about. He is solid. He would he would huddle us up. <laughs> he was like a coach giving drawing up yeah. the play, if you will. Oh yes. Oh yes. Uh, and, yeah. and of course, CJ has his whiteboard. If you're not watching already, I brought the whiteboard. As we know, the clipboard did not make it through Bob Hope International <laughs> to. Vegas. Cl- uh, yeah, get it. You getting your clipboard right. taken from TSA is great. So he so he huddles up for a joke. He goes, all right. First things first. Um, you guys seem cool, right? You guys seem cool. You know, you know, you know the He's day was, already right. told us about the horse. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> He's still checking with us. That he didn't need to check with. That was just like, all right. He's he go, no. He did ask at one point. You guys are regular human beings, right? <laughs> and that's when he started talking about the horse. 
sir. We're uh, sir. We're awake at we're at a bar at nine thirty in the morning in Las Vegas with buckets full uh, of beers. Yeah. You can go ahead and tell a dirty joke to us. <laughs> but he starts off with like, "What religion are you guys?" So I'm like, "Oh, I like this already." <laughs> and then he goes off to tell like a racist joke. Whoa, what the religion matter? I just I just like to know that for my own personal. <laughs> he's, he's running. <laughs> it's all the same. Uh, actually, perfect uh, time to transition. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash survey. Mm. Uh, we're running mm-hmm. a little listener survey, and one random person will get a hundred dollar SGPN gift card. Yes. Sportscamblingpodcast.com slash survey. We're not asking you your religion, but no. Um, really? Yes. All right, that didn't make the cut. <laughs> no, it didn't make the cut. <laughs> we don't care about that on our survey. But we, we, yeah, we probably care more about your degenerate lifestyle choices. Yeah, just how much you bet and where you bet and that kind of good he, stuff. He had all that covered too. Oh, yeah, he was, and he uh, clearly he, cost was not an and, issue. And it was, it was Friday. It was St. Patrick's Day, and right. then instead of. Um, Betting on all the first half <laughs> unders, he accidentally bet on all the first game unders, <sighs> which worked right. instead of going whatever it did on uh, Friday, which was like seven and nine. He went fourteen and two. He stumbled and into, two. and he was, and he hit some crazy money line dogs. Yeah. Guy really had a dream. Uh, he looked really happy. Too. Fourteen and two, round two for the whores. That's what that means. For him. He's he's stimulating the local economy. It was, if you're a whore, it was a great weekend to be out in Las Nothing, Vegas. The, the whores at Palazzo were all rooting for unders. It was amazing. <laughs> Normally you'd assume the whores are on the overs, but they were not. They were all. On the that unders. guy was taking them all. Hey, you're looking to get in on some more March Madness Sweet 16 right around the corner, and of course, daily NHL, NBA. So many ways to win over at WinBet. Just download that Win Betting app or head to WinBet.com, where you of course can bet big, win even bigger. Bet 100, get 100. Same restrictions apply there, but. Oh man, so many ways to win. They got that sweet win hour. Of course, if you hit the longest. Uh, long shot parlay of the week. You get a thousand dollar free credit over at WinBet. So many, so many ways to win. Hashtag Dejans only. Just head over to WinBet.com. Terms and conditions at WinBet.com. Offer subject to change. Must be 21 or older. And present the state where play through WinBet is available. If you or somebody knows a gambling problem, 1 800 522 4700. And a couple big uh, contests uh, slash live show. Getting the final four uh, show at the Ice House. And of course, uh, SGP at the Masters. Well, watching the Masters at Stadium Swim, hang out in the cabana, and get a three night stay at Circa Las Vegas, sportsgoodmanpodcast.com slash golf party. And if you don't win, you can uh, get a discount room, promo code SGP15. Hang out with the ultimate uh, D Gen. Uh, Derek Steven, true Derek Stevens, uh, true DJs only. Of course, he he uh, busted Noah's chops. Uh, Noah B out there for the college uh, basketball experience. It was great seeing a couple of fellow uh, Michigan guys just getting busting chops back and forth. Although it was really a one way street of Derek uh, just busting Noah's chops. Der- Der- he was like getting us all whiskey, and he's like, "What kind of whiskey do you want?" And, and uh and Noah's like, oh, I'll take this. And then he turns back to the bartender. He goes, Well, whiskey only for the new guy. <laughs> I mean, I love Derek, but I, oh, I mean yeah. again, I could see him doing the Tony Soprano walking into the the, the bar and grabbing the phone and smashing, <laughs> smashing sure, the right. bouncer over right. the face. Uh Sean, real quick, yes. as you were saying, golf party. Yeah, it made me think of the fact that our friend also oh, had yeah. a, a he, golf party, and now all I hear <laughs> yeah. when I hear golf parties, is is, I'll enter that contest. Is that well, eligible? Yeah. He <laughs> also was planning on the following day, oh. him and uh, I think it was like him and three guys, and they, buddies, yeah. yeah, they they each they were going to get a <laughs> prostitute to be their companion for the golf round. Which I, I was saying to CJ, I yeah. go. You know, I'm not a prostitute guy, but I'm also not one to judge. But it seems like that would be you heard that his would be joke, two huh? separate things. Like, like uh, five hours hanging out with a prostitute, making small talk for maybe ten minutes in there. A lot of holes <laughs> out there. Well, of course. Uh, he had a great. You know, you guys will be proud of this. I think. If you did, you hear his joke, his hole joke. What was his hole? Oh, th- he's like this way. We all get to pick which hole we want to play. Oh, nice, fantastic. Yeah. He was confusing with the, the logistics of it a lot. I think he was saying like. 
three strippers aside, like three, like three uh, strokes aside, like he was getting for the front I, nine. Or I so. will say, I mean, golf makes you tired. I, I would say, you know, if you're if you're mixing in some right. of that, uh, you might not be playing your best game. And, and even his Thursday setup, you were saying he had one come in there. He had one set up in the bathtub, about oh, the, yeah. in the True. bathtub with champagne, just in case that didn't fall out. You know, like those like All eighty right. sitcoms where you have two dates in the same restaurant. You got to yeah. run They're back and two forth. You know, yeah. he exactly. was back in time to watch the second half yeah. of the second block <laughs> right. of games. And he's but north of 60. Again, so he must be a sword vitality. Wow. Oh, uh, he, he unsheathed his sword. We'll get to, we'll get to that later, but uh, he was, he was the, the, all over the, the best, sword vitality. The best little nugget was when he, the, when he came back in between the two, he was just wearing a sweatsuit. He, he knew he didn't want to get dressed for real because he, he wanted to be able to get leisurely quickly. All right, you ready to talk XFL? I Week to, six. I hope yeah. we put those girls to work like on the golf course. Like ask for like club advice. Well, I was you know, saying, does she which care? Which way does this putt read? Does, does she is she out there with the yardage book? Is she like uh, club down, Tony? Yeah. This is. A, I mean, I know yesterday you hit the eight iron, but the, we're gonna carry. We gotta carry this trap club, here. Yeah, club down. <laughs> put club it back down. in your pants. I'm feeling a little. I'm feeling a little wind coming. Now. Uh, this way, you need to regrip. Could just oh, be the, I'm on uh, Xanax, but uh, <laughs> I mean, it'd be funny to just have the three girls play against each other. Oh, right. and, like, yeah. and you're you're with your buddies, it? yeah. <laughs> and you think that she's, would be amazing. She's the actually. one that has to take the shot. I love it. <laughs> All right, uh, and and by the way, if you shout out to the XFL for playing a game on the opening day of March Madness. Oh, it's going head to just head. Continue, Doesn't care. Continue to After dark. Too. Yeah, it was I mean, great. Just no, no strategy in, in this situation. Also, I want to say before we start, if anyone needs the whiteboard oh. to, to make, oh, improve okay. any of their points, it's in the middle. Well, Andy erase. I'll handle the erase. Draw, <laughs> draw it up. Keep it away from Edie. All right. He might he might put his fist through it accidentally. I know. Uh, that sorry that sorry I didn't mean to talk college basketball on, on a on an right. extreme football. Anytime league. you can drop an Office Max reference, I like it. It doesn't. I know it doesn't stand for extreme anymore. It stands for the intersection of opportunity and something else. It stands for ecstasy, oddly enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we called it when we were a kid. X. By the way, did that, did you guys catch the, the coach Prime uh, talking about how things were back in the day? Like no one has a number at coach, Colorado right now. Coach Prime Love is hilarious. Love this he character. called people out for socks and uniforms. <laughs> Meanwhile, he had do rags <laughs> and uh, fifty pounds of diamonds oh, on the chain out there. All of a sudden, he's a strict, right. uh, as a, as strict a guy, uh, as a guy, uniform guy, as a guy who's working into being an old guy nicely. Yeah. I I am really appreciating. How quickly Dion is forgetting his child. Amazing. Childhood, like his Domino's <laughs> pizza commercials from a year ago. He's forgetting. <laughs> uh, him and Coach Saman just oh, selling out for half luck. All right. He's the best. 10 a.m. on the West Coast. Saturday, Sean. My. My. Mm. Seattle Sea Dragons. Are facing the the uh, I mean at this point, can we relegate the Orlando Gar mm -hmm. Guardians? Uh, Seattle laying eight and a half here, a comical amount on the road. But everyone knows Orlando is the Las Vegas of the Southeast uh, without casinos. Minus 380 on the money line. Orlando plus 310. 42 is the total. Oh, boy. I mean, I, I'm autoplay. I have yet to pass on playing Seattle. Well, and had we done a podcast last week, Sean, I would have hit my lock because mm. the Sea Dragons got it done. Sure did. Well, Vi Vipers. Uh, I Sorry, mean, they, while you talk, I'm gonna yeah. just quickly wardrobe change. Vipers won <laughs> pretty. Uh, yeah, Guardians did cover the the number uh, last week, 32. Or yeah, yes. it was last week. They yep. were, they're playing. It was uh, Saturday night. Yeah. Uh, 32 35 Vipers seemingly kind of controlled that game, or at least the parts I saw, they were up by nine late. I don't know. Or it was the last second touchdown. It was a yeah, 50 yard it, was it was a classic back door. I mean, everyone's talking about the bad beat. That is a mm. TCU Xavier. Not a lot of people are talking about how if well, you were laying the number with the Vipers, you've got, you got snake bitten. Ironically, Jesus, which Hashtag I, fan game. Yeah, which I was. And I had <laughs> luckily, luckily I had the over as my lock of the week, which easily hit. But uh, I'll tell you why it's even worse. Bad beat though, because uh, I'm, I'm when I'm when I handicapped and laid the seven, which was pretty tough with a winless team with Vegas there. <laughs> but I but my handicapping was you're going against Paxton Lynch and then maybe DeAndre Francois. 
the news of this league is so under wraps. <laughs> Next thing you know, Quentin Dormandy's out there. Yeah. Oh, wow. He was he was just fired for for selling the playbook, and they put it. How in. can you trust right. a guy who loses his job? Or wait, he he was benched, then he was released, then they stripped him of right. any mention, his stats, My and everything. God. And now there's an independent counsel, his <laughs> private investigators. Now is he back on the team? But he's whipping the ball. He's 22 for 25. Uh, now do and he know, looks good. Do we know who's gonna start for Orlando? You gotta go Dormandy. He's the only one with the plays they, <laughs> they uh, put the other through the paper shredder it, it, it's i mean yeah i guess orlando is like a like a it's like a, one of these like movie like high school team stories no like nothing's be- like the, the the guy picked everyone based on where they grew up and then <laughs> and then the team the team like it really sucks but now and then he's calling the team out on national tv and then maybe the team's starting to come together here well, and I mean, the guy it, who tried to betray them and comes back to be the hero it's of amazing. our story like, i don't even know if a lot of these people are allowed to leave the state of florida if there's a legal issue the or sea something the dragons I mean, are a legit again there's not many legit teams in right. the, the extreme the football three. league and I, I at this point would you i'd say maybe the cutoffs at like 4 Mm. At three and a half, maybe. Seattle's one of them. Seattle's Sean definitely hates Danooch. Uh, I love the Danooch. Like I say, he's uh, he, with Danooch. He's in on the fix. With with the Danooch. Well, that's the thing with the Danooch. With the Danooch. They every- did have a they did have a quality win against the Roughnecks. But even with that, Danooch still oh. did throw three everybody interceptions. Eats, everybody eats with the Danooch. Offense gets a ball. Defense gets a ball. It's Anybody scores style. with the Danooch. It's family style. I know. And there's <laughs> and there's such Danooch bombs he throws out there. And it was such a big game, but um, oh, a huge game. I mean. The, it's a long layoff too, so that's why I don't th- probably think of a let- it. Normally, it would be kind of a letdown situation there, but Orlando's pass defense is hilarious. It's just hilariously it's bad. It's so bad, but can you take Seattle as an eight and a half point road yes. favorite? It's a long trip to Orlando. Are they actually coming from Seattle? I know there's like I know, no. Right? Remember they come from <laughs> the hub? No, I know that's they where travel I forget together. where the hub is. They, in in, uh, in Arlington, in Texas. Okay, so, so they're, I, I mean. I, XFL sharp over here, Sh- Sean. You want to get the snorkel out, maybe? <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah. I mean, I, I think this Seattle can can cover big numbers. They're coming together. They, they have can. their offense has actually been bad the last couple of weeks, but their defense is their defense is actually still up and credit. Ron, Ron's, Ron's been zooking. I, yeah, I mean Seattle. What we got? Uh, yeah, they're they're. Uh, I'm looking at the yards per game. Justin uh, J. Mark of the XFL Gambling Podcast putting in some nice research oh, yeah. here. Mm. He's my guy. Orlando is kind of in a sieve, 226.4 uh, pass yards per game, 2.6 passing touchdowns per game. I guess what I'm worried about is we get a backdoor situation no. with Dormandy like we just did in the Absolutely. in the Vegas Vipers mm. game. That's, that's All right, eight so. and a half point home dog is crazy. No, because no one gives a shit about them in Orlando. <laughs> and Terrell Buckley is hilarious, coach. I love Terrell Buckley. I love him calling him out, but like he. <laughs> It's like no one listens to him. He doesn't listen. He doesn't listen to them. He's like you, you hear because because everyone's mic'd up. You hear the line changing, trying to change the plays, and the coach is yelling, and the quarterback yelling back at him. No, we got we got to do it this way. Come on, he doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. And it's crazy too because they don't they don't have separate radio broadcasts. Right. So if you listen, uh, I've tried to listen a couple times in the in the truck to punish my wife, and uh, they're just I can't even take it because. They, yeah. There's like it's just you hear those like play calls and it's all over each other. Right. Guys are talking over each other. It's very distracting. It's it's a tough listen. I'm gonna go Seattle minus. Of eight course and a half. you are. I know I just made a case for possibly the Guardians as a home dog, but I think really as a situational handicapper, here's what happened: the Guardians shot their wad. They had a chance to beat the Vegas Vipers. Yeah. They couldn't get it done. That was the ultimate dream crushing loss for the Guardians and the Dragons. Battle of the worst teams. Yeah. I mean that you nailed it. That we we when we broke the uh, I, or I guess we were just talking with Colby about it in Vegas, but th- it was a, just a tremendously bad matchup. <laughs> and fun fact, Sean, the Sea Dragons would not be in the playoffs if the season ended today. When you that, that's also crazy. amazing though. If Orlando loses this game. They are mathematically eliminated yeah. <laughs> yeah. halfway through the season. That's great. In an eight team, in a four team yeah. division, where <laughs> fits half of them makes the playoffs. Well, because you're mathematically because in the north, it's uh, defenders. I who, know. Wait, 
Did they not up? Did, has it's, the XFL.com There's not two divisions. It? It's Texas. It's all of Texas and Orlando, and then the rest. Yeah, so Defenders are 5-0, and oh, and then the Battlehawks 3-2, and two, and so are the yeah. Sea Dragons. Vipers 1-4, yep. and four, and then in the south, you got the Roughnecks 4-1, and one, Renegades 3-2. and two. The Brahmas are hanging around at 1-4. and four. It, this, it, It's already over. The, like, this is where the futures market, maybe this is yeah. why it's off the board right now, but we discussed this early in the season. It's like they, don't, they won't figure out the rules of like two teams <laughs> half there's yeah. always a bad division when they do right. this. well here's the thing i think if arlington loses this week maybe they're an interesting team to get a future on because no. uh yeah, they have a two game lead over the brahmas depending no, on how things shake out you're playing it wrong the way to play it is you play take the, the brahmas, brahmas yeah. right now yeah probably i mean it, you know, I, I, well I, they play each other yeah, and the brahmas so. are only a three-point dog so I think exactly. there's some value. CJ, uh, what are you doing here? What's your uh, Well that I originally I was coming in thinking Orlando on the spot yeah. and a dormity and getting a, I even saw a nine out there. Oh my goodness. But uh if you're if you're if you're getting that CLV Shop in XFL. It. But this is a get right Danuch game and like uh <laughs> you can, Danuch. You, I don't know about Danuch. And they they do need to they need to keep winning for this playoff, like you said, yeah. them and St. Louis back so they can't take this yeah. game off. And you talk they, about no home field advantage in Orlando. Yeah, they, absolutely. Uh, they lost to Arlington. I mean, that that's the, the or sorry, St. Louis. That's why right. they currently aren't in the playoffs. So they they have to continue to go. And and again, the, you know, down in Camping World Stadium, everybody. I, Danucci is going to hit Disney World. Everybody. <laughs> I mean, it is just. <laughs> Everyone is going to hit Disney. You know, World, yeah. Like on the company dime. Let's go. They're little fun, little up. work. I, I just they're gonna score points and you can't you partying can't it up really. with Furman like they were. Sean Green right. called that out in <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> they're gonna rip, rip it up in Orlando. Yeah, and Disney. I I questioned that and you were yeah. exactly right. <laughs> you were you were saying, <laughs> oh, what are they gonna be doing riding the teacups? <laughs> yeah. They did. They got a little the Buccaneer. Oh, All right. they got work. Second Saturday game, four p.m. on the West Coast. The battle, the St. Louis Battle Hawks. Mm. Yes, they're heading to Vegas to take on the Vipers. Battlehawks laying three and a half, minus one seventy on the money line. Vipers plus one forty five. Forty two and a half is the total. Yeah, I mean I AJ McCarron continues to I, I guess I mean I, I don't I, I don't want this team to continue to. I need the Sea Dragons in the playoffs here. The DC Defenders are clearly the class of the DC league. Defenders are. Legit I need this loss here for St. Louis. They're they're you know they're they're making it three and a half. They're making you think about it, but you really shouldn't be thinking about it. I mean, this Vipers team, uh, you know they they beat the Guardians, but it was a bit of a shootout. Like that defense is a complete sieve. Yeah. I think the Battlehawks, like my original take on the Battlehawks was gonna be to fade them on the on the road and take them at home, but you know, they were they they had some crazy road wins. Of course, that miracle uh, win against the Brahmas week one. They beat the Dragons in Seattle on a short week. Um they the defenders have had their number. They've beat them twice, but uh you know, other than that, they're they're undefeated except when playing the defenders. It's a simple handicap, but I think they're a noticeably better team than this Vipers team and the Vipers. It's a letdown spot after their first win. I think, <laughs> what do you think CJ? Well, you can consider a letdown spot for sure. Oh, yes. Um, yes. I like to fade, uh, fade coach uh, Tony meatball as much as I can here. Mm. Anthony Beck. And I'm going to give you a gift because I think Vegas wins this thing outright. Ooh, this is uh, I think Dog. Vegas is not as bad as a team as Advertise. They don't, they should have beat Seattle at home a couple weeks it's ago. Danuch had Danuch did a uh, fourth down Josh Gordon bomb, but that, that, that's how they are. But I'm telling you, with Luis Perez back in there now. I was gonna he, say he looks like the best quarterback in the league he, right now. You could argue he was one of the best quarterbacks in the USFL, and I I do mm. think like you kind of just worried about. I think the Battlehawks defense is better. That's what's that's what's peel happening back. On. They they but, are, but like you said, like on the road. I mean, like the St. Louis team, they're. They're the best of the mediocre. Yeah. And Vegas is a much better like if they switch divisions, I think they get can. if you yeah, if you all right, so take away their three losses, right. twice to the defenders, <laughs> one to the Sea Dragons, they're one and one. And I think to your point, Luis Perez <laughs> They're a hot team right now. They I'm really a, are. Hey, Luis and, Perez and they switched offensive coordinators two weeks ago. They averaged they averaged seven yards of play in DC on that game and they lost on just um, Luis Perez turnovers. gave me a full season sweat with the generals in the US. And, and and you got Cashman Field there that we were there, that minor league baseball game. Yeah. They had that <laughs> they had that stand where they put the announcers in there where Notre Dame used to have their film scouts uh went go in there in a hurricane. <laughs> uh, where Coach the Ke- Coach, yeah, Coach Kelly up in the tower. Put, yeah, film the practice. We don't care where the Hurricanes uh, coming. I I like the uh, unique home field advantage for the Vipers here. Yeah, I mean, is that because they spray they can't painted figure- field? 
<laughs> oh, I mean, St. Louis is coming from a proper stadium. Like these these bougie motherfuckers we aren't going to know what to do in Vegas. We should have before we took off Saturdays try to spray paint a little SGPN logo. <laughs> oh yeah, they might not even notice. They're, of They're course like, they yeah. would have noticed. Well, not only that, but they wouldn't have known how to get it out. I was more importantly, <laughs> they ain't got the money to. Well, they, right. <laughs> maybe they put a, they probably put a fresh coat on before that's the a, game. Yeah. That's a great <laughs> slippery. That's a great. Uh, you think get that I, Super Bowl Fifty Seven crew out there? I don't think they have that kind of money. Yeah, I think we I think we still go out there. You're right for next time. So you're you're going. I'm, on. I'll stick with St. Louis. I'll you definitely are, take the points plus three and a half. I've even mm, seen no, four yeah, out there. Yeah. I think I I like taking points anyway in the XFL. Right. And these lines these lines are big this week. Well, at least lose two are. Um, but uh, I think Vegas is a hot team, and, per, and Perez is the hottest quarterback yeah. in the league. We right like now. Perez. Sticking with my road chalk. Hey, uh, we were just talking about our uh, good buddy there, who's uh, looking to get in some extracurricular activities. <laughs> Over in Las Vegas. That's right, Sword Vitality. You know, 40% of men are affected by impotence at age 40, nearly 70% by the age of 70. And again, you don't need to get those wacky pills at the gas station. You need to head over to Sword Vitality. If you aren't, I mean, imagine a world where you wake up and you don't experience an amazing erection. I feel bad for those guys, but you you don't need, why, why? Again, erections are amazing. If you're not getting one, uh, if you haven't had one in the past few days, I mean, what are you doing? Get some sword vitality. Not only that, that it helps your blood flow. It increases your stamina. You don't have to hide it. You can be proud of it. Unsheath your sword over at swordvitality.com. Use a promo code SGPN. Get a nice discount. Swordvitality.com. Promo code SGPN. And uh, also Talkify. Again, if you're uh, Sean, not at the same time. I, I love this parlay. No. This is <laughs> no, there no. was some concern by the ad team that we were creating uh, SGPN DGen only that are essentially <laughs> unstoppable. One, when they get their sword vitality going, and then two, when they find their perfect match over at Talkify. T A W K I F Y. Again, maybe a yeah, single guy. What's the worst part about dating is that first date finding that there's so many red flags, so many things you can immediately go, Hey, I don't want to date you. Uh, but then you got to go to the first date, second date before you start seeing those red flags. Talkify does that heavy lifting for you. They ask the awkward conversation or the, the awkward questions that, you know, make for uh, horrible dates. Talkify, you want to talk about an amazing trend. Committed to finding you your match. 80% of their clients meet their person within their first 12 matches. Yes, sir. Again, they screen the potential matches, <laughs> is they do background checks, video interviews. They ask the hard hitting questions. So you don't have to. So you can just focus on the date. Right now, Talkify is offering our listeners 20% off when you become a client. Talkify.com slash SGPN. That's T A W K I F Y dot com slash SGPN. 20% off when you become a client. They need badges that re- that reflect uh, maybe metal. Hmm. So you can explain the, yeah. the just what which kind of what kind of sword you're working <laughs> with oh, oh. So you're calling back to oh. the sword vitality Go- gold <laughs> gold you're going with gold that's a soft metal i like or the ma- sword vitality statistics they're 40 percent of 40 year olds yeah. and that's probably low because you i imagine that's through a poll yeah so who's going to be answering <laughs> nah, that honestly yeah, honestly. No, <laughs> no, no pun intended but you know with the poll but like yeah of course you're gonna say no no yeah fine <laughs> 100% lead pipe lock. Never had an issue. <laughs> no. Le- lead, no lead need song. to be ashamed. And that is a great parlay of two out of a third leg. Download the creep app. <laughs> creep. <laughs> Watch other Ste- people, though. <laughs> Steel is probably a little harder than yes. I. We might want to update our lead pipe lock. Well, it's, it's Blue probably. Horse, have you watched, Anaconda Steel. Have you watched Ma- Mandalorian? Whatever the stuff they oh, make the yeah. uh, the Mandalorian shit yeah. out of. That's, that's what it'll be after Sword Vitality. Uh, update the Sword Vitality read. <laughs> All right. Um, next up. The the fake made up animals uh, that aren't mm. aren't roosters, the Brahmas of San Antonio. Right. The San Antonio Rocks. They're taking on the Arlington Renegades at twelve PM on the West Coast in beautiful Arlington, Texas. They see that this is a situation where they don't have to travel. Right. When you catch the Arlington home game, everyone wins. This is a home and home. Both teams and are, are all happy. at home anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Both teams are happy. Arlington lay in three, minus one sixty five. Plus one forty for the Brahmas, thirty-two and a half is the total. That's comically low. I mean, 
Yes. 42, 42 and a half. Well, they just, 42. Well, they yeah. just played last 32 week. 32 and a half. They just played Sunday night, 12 to 12 10 <laughs> final, and it was a struggle to get there. It, it, was, a sh- it, was, a, yeah. it was a real oh. great product oh. trotted out onto the field, 12 to 10. And uh, well, that's great. According the, the to Colby, highlight, that's the best product. The highlight was the uh, the punter, um, Dierra <laughs> King, uh, or no, sorry, uh, Marquette King. Oh yeah, uh, he punted drip. and then downed his own punt inside the ten. I had never seen that. It would have been like the the dream of a punter. I think is like diving in the end zone and knocking the ball back yeah. to down at a one. But he came really close. No one was touching the ball. Ran down, tagged it right at the nine. That is a pretty uh, like that that goes in his highlight reel first, yeah. right? He almost fair caught it himself. <laughs> 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 it was a very also they should I mean it's the XFL why what are you punting on the they were on the opponents like 45 like go for it's it. real soft uh, well it was like 30 seconds ago they were that's also true the they game. were trying to <laughs> ice the uh, ice the game I don't real care soft. we got the, I, I got you minus two and a half this I I I how can you for me it's very I, I'm gonna take the points um, just simply off the fact that it was just such an ugly game how can you not take it a, a, a team getting a, an extra ten points here, or sorry, extra three points. Right, no, and it's say, revenge what, angle. They, they just lost revenge angle. You can do it that way. Re- revenge, but, we like revenge. Yeah, my analysis is uh, pretty deep with this one, and that is, I'll go. I'm going to go to the well, board. Let's hear go, it. Go oh, he's got board. he's got the whiteboard. Yeah, out. going to the whiteboard for this, and that is. Uh, Jack Cohn is awful. <laughs> he really is. Oh, he's okay. Fucking terrible. I mean, he's. And he's the quarterback. Again. He's the quarterback. They try to get him out, but I don't know what we've done to endure this. And they put him back in. Yeah. The other guy got hurt, and next thing we couldn't. You just can't get rid of Jack Cohn. He's bad. He's on the Brahmas. He's the Brahmas QB. He is the Brahmas quarterback. You ever? I I I bet on him uh, or faded him a couple times in college football, and fading him was just a pure delight. I don't yeah. know how he was playing Division One at such a high level. It was crazy. Easy <laughs> handicap here. Uh, in, in I would he, Arlington probably is the team that's like hanging on to the rest of the league. That's right. like they, they're and they've, they I mean it's it's Sunday so Sloter Sundays activate. Sean, we like betting on Sloter, right? Mm. Like maybe he's coming around. His electric play style. Sloter had some hilarious things. Stu- I'm Stu- really trying to put a ball on the Sloter tee for Sean. He's not, <laughs> no, he's not I, swinging the bat. I, at all. I, I was really di- not interested. I was diving in playing on some blackjack over there. No, I was diving in on Sloter early on, but uh, I don't know. I will say Slover, yeah. Sloter's one touchdown to four interceptions ratio yeah, is not, not really doing it for me. Sloter's not good, and I will say this: um, <laughs> I'm, uh, looking at the uh, passing stats for the entire league in yeah. one screen view yeah. is is a real it's treat. Fu- it's funny. Jack Cohn, meanwhile, has five. Five touchdowns. He four had the first two good games. I, I'll give him that. He did have the first two good yeah. games. He's which cooled was, off, which was the worst thing he could do because now we can't yeah. get rid of him. Like, well, yeah. his numbers aren't you know mediocre when he compared to the rest of the league. Like, you just, but you have to trust that Jack Cohn's terrible. Please get him <laughs> out. <laughs> and now Bob Stoops, the Arlington coach, he's like he's just as bad as. Um, as Buckley over Orlando, but he acts like he's a great coach, but he doesn't even know he's coach. He's like watching as, as like a, as a viewer down there. Now you have him coach. I was like, man, that's some, his sound, but like, man, that's some bad football out there. <laughs> Go. So, who's, who's in charge of that? You are Bob. Fun, oh, fun right. nugget about these two teams. <laughs> if you add their touchdowns together okay. that they've scored, it equals 13. Mm. Every other team in the league outside the Guardians has scored 13 <laughs> touchdowns by themselves. The well, and again, that's why I, that's why I'm taking the points because it it's they're they're both have horrible offenses and kind of okay relatively defenses. Ugh. So the fact that you're getting a free field goal, I think you almost have to take Arlington's the Arlington's 47 of their, like, I think it's like 58 points have been off of turnovers. They've produced <laughs> nine points on their own why throughout the, the entire <laughs> of the season. But why, why, why is that not going to happen in this game? And is we got some, we got some breaking news from uh, J. Mark Reed Sinet uh, <laughs> yeah. in a boot. So if you're hoping <laughs> for some, God. some Jack Cone relief, it's yeah. not coming. Yeah, I, here we go. And well, and that's a good sign of, for the league that they can afford walking boots. I don't know if you, I don't know if you know what the copay is on a walking boot, but <laughs> it's like eighty five bucks. Uh, so g- if you've been following my picks in the XFL, Sean, this, yeah, this I year, have a thirteen very, and three on the <laughs> show, Ryan. Very yes. chalky. Uh, I, now, meanwhile, me, I'm ten and six, okay. and I'm three games behind, hundred percent lock. Um, <laughs> here comes if you're the into, tau- if you're into percentages. Train. 
last week I would have hit another lock. We didn't do a show because it was March Madness. Yeah. I were bad. But yeah, I mean, look, I, I just it's a lot of favorites. It's a lot of favorites. The point spread doesn't fucking matter. All the oh, wow. and if you hear any nerds out there talking about they've figured out home edge, they've they've solved the key numbers of the XFL. No, they haven't. <laughs> These are just bad like good teams versus bad teams at this point. And when you have two bad teams together, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the team. Uh, well, this this is tough though, because Sean, your logic is sound. And while the obvious thing to do is just take the under in this game. I'm going to take Arlington because hmm. I, 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 uh, I do, I, I, I guarantee like they're, they're the defense. If we were talking NFL, they would be the defense of any time touchdown of the week. Yeah. They're Arlington. great. They are, they're a great defense and they, but they're the, easily the biggest disappointment. I, it's amazing how they have three wins. It really is. <sighs> yeah. Maybe I do. You know what? Maybe I should. And it's a revenge spot. Like the Give other me. team just won. Give, I know it's not rocket science. No, no, yeah, right. you know what? Get, I get it. So you're gonna take you're you're on cone, you're you're locked. Yeah, in. I'm on cone because you compare him to Kyle Sloter and Drew Plitt, who have been complete nobodies. Uh, you know, Plitt is five point four percent yards J-Mark. per attempt for Plitt. Who's J Mark taking? <laughs> yeah, J Mark's in the chat. Fellow, uh, fellow you XFL can, you, you, sharp. You can find that on Wednesday, Jay. Right, yes. Jay Mark. Oh, don't right, don't be letting out. Don't be letting out any oh, of the uh, wow. secrets oh, wow. for the XFL okay. sharp. Right. CJ I is. You know what? Subscribe. I'll I'll spill everything I have, but no one cares about Get, mine. But Jay Mark's our stack guy. We need him for Wednesday. CJ, I, it sounds like you're leaning Arlington. Well, I tell you what. I had San Antonio last week. I was pretty disappointed in mine too. But I kind of like. I mean. Go back to the well. Is that what I we're doing? I kind of want to go back to the well. You got Heinz. You got Heinz. I've been, I've been pushing this Heinz Ward narrative that just like the Steelers, they come on late. The Steelers come on late. Like, like, well, you know, Heinz so Ward. What about Rod Woodson? Yeah, he's a, he's more of a restaurant tour than well, a Heinz, Steeler. Heinz Ward, like uh, Mike Tomlin, never had a losing season as a head coach. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, right. it, it is his first year as a head coach, but he's still never had a losing they season. They have great running backs, and they don't use them. They have Jock Patrick, who I love. He's the All right, let's go. Earl and Campbell. Lead the league. Point. They lead the league in tackles for loss. So let, let's go. The Brahmas. Oh, yeah. so you're switching your pick, right? Let's go. Give yeah. The Brahmas and the candy. You, ah. you got three points in a total that might not hit double digits. I was reminded of the people who were from Arlington that were Cowboys fans that we were playing craps <laughs> with. Yeah. It's a great point. This weekend. So, yeah. Uh, San Antonio, at least, is like the. Uh, they're, they're not Cowboys. Hopefully, they're not Cowboys fans. All right. Last game, this is a great game. This is it. I don't want to. I don't want to steal uh, Colby's lines because he's not here right now. But this is a great game. 4 p.m. on the West Coast, Houston, the Roughnecks. Oh wait, is this Monday? Monday night. Holy dude, shit! Dude, Damn dude, right, dude. Monday night. Dun, dun, oh dun, my dun. god, what are they doing? <laughs> they're ch- they're taking on the NIT, is what they're uh, doing. They're uh, not afraid. Don't they know the women's Sweet 16 is going to be going <laughs> lady, on? Lady. Yeah. 4, 4 p.m. on it's the a West lady Coast. Battle. Oh, what a time win! Uh, Houston Roughnecks and the DC Defenders. Mm. T- the, the Beer Snake will be in. Which, by the way, it, it sounds like there's a chance we may uh, be having one of the Beer Snake originators on the oh, XFL I, no, I, I heard that Gambling Podcast. So you're gonna want to subscribe to the XFL Gambling Podcast. Yeah. Yep. That it's that sounds r- like riveting shit. I want to know how that uh, how that. Buddy line Max, like I might be able to connect us with the one of the lead guys <laughs> right, behind the, the beer snake. Like, what's that even mean? He the, drives up just for the cup. His business card. Oh, he he says, Head of beer snake. His whole odyssey. The guy went through to like start right. the, the beer snake. Head of beer snake. That's that's, the, that's a great head job be- title. Head, yeah, just just that card alone. <laughs> yeah. Handing it out. Was, head of snakeology. <laughs> All right. Is, so, it, the, is he a certified reptile hand? <laughs> the the roughnecks are oh, that would be a great show up to the reptile show and just your giant beer snake. <laughs> well, that's a great species of snake. We need to get that added to Wikipedia. <laughs> Houston roughnecks are catching two and a half plus one twenty five on the money line. DC minus one forty five. Forty two is the total. Mm. All right, we really nailed Reggie Barlow. I I think I'm still nailing the, the coach's name. We nailed this being the best team in the league yep. before the season based on the fact that he was the most real head coach <laughs> and they were picked like second to the last last before the season. I got a seven fifty future. On yeah. I mean, you could have gotten them <laughs> and you could have gotten them and <laughs> Seattle. Yeah. Pl- play oh. the closing line cash <laughs> for CJ, but DC and Seattle both were, yeah. were in the eight to one range, right. which seems crazy at this point. Uh, DC laying two and a half here. I guess you could argue Houston on a bounce back. Houston's yep. a good team. Yep. 
DC's the best team <laughs> in the league. Let's go, Roughnecks. Un- until, revenge. Until someone beats DC, I'm on DC. They're the best team in the league. They have a coach who is fu- like there is. There's nothing joking on the sideline here. Right. He, this is a serious business for him, and I think DC keeps it going at home. They're one of the few places with a little bit of a home edge. It's definitely a home edge there. Uh, how Although do you they're fade tr- them? they're trying to regulate the beer snake now. There's rules. You don't put rules on a beer so snake. It's, well, also, it's if DC you, if you, if you and take it's out St. Louis, right? Those uh, are the only I mean, home edges right, we care for about. For sure. And they're, so you're telling me it's only two they're, and they're a half. Seattle a little bit, but they're, yeah, they're it's five, mostly they're really five and zero. Oh, but if you take out the two games against the Vipers, two games against Battle Hawks, they're only one and zero, oh, and they only beat the <laughs> Seattle Sea You picked the Battle Hawks. So you could only do. No, I was just. And that was on a Danuch fumble at the one yard line. Let's talk about it. Tier one in the XFL. Tier Love Houston. Tier one is Houston. Wade Phillips, this defense. How do you how do you beat the decent DC defenders? Tier- you slow down their rushing game. Oh. What does Houston do the best? I wish I wish uh, Pick Dundee hadn't been suspended because he's a yards per game guy. He's yards I know per he's, game guy. I know he's a oh, honk yeah, for uh, DC football that he, isn't that well, isn't he's controlled been, by Dan he, Snyder. He's been he's been calling Seattle like. All season better than Houston. He's yeah. getting killed on the boards, oh, you know, because his him. power rankings are only yardage only. Yeah. So after <laughs> Seattle beat Houston, Seattle actually still came down his power rankings because because they, they didn't have a good yardage game. They didn't get 300 yards, so they plummeted. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think you're getting cute here, Sean. I know you have a, you have a love for oh, Houston. Oh, Ryan, you want to talk and about all things cute. in Texas? Y- here's the thing, Ryan. If you if you get a two and a half point spread in a professional football game, yeah. what do you do? Well, Sean, you take the two and a half, or you lay fuck? the two and a half. They're they're making it minus two Hold and a half. So you go, oh, I feel I feel nice and safe. I don't want to piss. I don't. I feel nice and safe. I don't want to piss off. I don't. I don't have to worry about them Sean, losing and not some covering of our, the spread. Some of our NFL fans might be listening, <laughs> and they just heard you compare the fucking XFL to the NFL. How football. dare you? It's professional. They're getting semi-pro. paid. Semi pro. Semi pro. They're getting paid. That was five grand a week. Come on. Not not uh, humbly. He's getting paid twenty grand to hold a clipboard. DC is an auto play team until I'm proven wrong. They do run the ball. They're the only team that runs the ball. They average over 160 yards running. Abram Smith had 200 yards and three touchdowns last week. I mean, they are, they run right at you. Their D line is amazing. But Houston does have a 10 day layoff or like a Thursday night game in Monday. Them and Seattle, they're stewing. Sean, oh, they got, it, they're going to come out with a chip on their shoulder. Sean, I know they're gonna you come right from the oil fields with their wrenches. <laughs> I know you <laughs> beat up your defenders. Oh, the, if there's one thing that scares oil men is snakes. So be and ca- lemons here, and lemons. They they hate the lemon parties. Here, here is the 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 tears of the XFL championship contender DC. Next tier, which is playoff contender Houston Seattle. And then you have St. Louis hanging on by a thread, and then the rest of the team suck. So uh, DC wins. DC uh, remains undefeated, and Houston all of a sudden don't look now, but it could be trouble. Uh, they're still going to be in the playoffs because they're clearly the best well, team yeah, in their division. Well, because you know, that division DC, is just Texas. Does There's DC no need it? Can. Does DC need this game? Yeah, they're yeah, in a competitive division. They fine. They, they beat the Battle Hawks see, twice already, uh, and see, Battle Hawks are in second. CJ, They're gonna cruise you're doing this past for CJ. Them. The Roughnecks are <laughs> all hanging on to a one-game lead in the XFL you, South. You, this is XFL football at its finest. They, they you know, they're not the, the Renegades. They're in the hunt graphic, Ryan. They're you know how much heels. CJ loves your your emotional bullshit uh, motivation <laughs> angles. That's what I'm here. And and no, DC. It's we're in the middle of the fucking season, Sean. This isn't week 17 or 18. I'm sure Colby would make DC his lock. I'm going with Houston plus two and a half. CJ, how say you? And I love DC. Like I said, you can head it up. I love that future I have on DC plus 750. I've been okay. touting them uh, all yeah. season long. But I do think there is value on Houston no. getting points well, in this go. game. I mean, this is a team. I'm, I'm not ready to kill them just because they lost on a short week yes. in Seattle to the Danuch with a June Jones revenge game, by the way. June and Jones they, used to and, coach at that's Houston. True. Game. That's true. You know? And that felt like a little bit of an outlier. I mean, how often are you going to pick off a guy, what, three, four times and still uh, lose the game? Not, right. not a downgrade of Houston for me. Absolutely, I know, but all of a sudden we're saying they're you know I mean obviously DC can win and I wouldn't but you certainly can't lock them up. Houston was beating teams by 20, 30 points. They were bad teams, but oh, they were. I mean, and margin of victory. Parade Phillips, yeah. I call him Parade Phillips because he's he, he waves to the crowd. He just he's not he does he's by he half time, like he'd he's be done in. with it. You know he's a great parade float. Have we well, told- he was an eyewitness to uh, JFK's assassination. <laughs> Have we told the story of? 
of him uh, not not coming on our show because he was he was I forget <laughs> he what big time he Colby. Was, he was like, so yeah, he him. was out of town or something. He goes, I'm out of really? town. And then he showed then, up on some like he showed uh, up on NFL <laughs> Network, yeah. NFL Network, <laughs> sitting at a training camp, and Colby Ooh. got so hot. Lose my number, Dundee. Seriously, uh, <laughs> I I mean, Sean, obviously, you know, I, I have a coin flip situation here. Do I lock up? No, it's easy. I maintain my hundred hundred percent. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Dramatic reveal yes. at the whiteboard. Kramer is writing it down. All right, he's so gonna go with Seattle, the Sea Dragons. A perfect record on locking up Seattle, laying the points here. I mean, w score prediction: thirty-two to twelve. That wow. seems like an XFL score. Wow. Well, they have a great defense. Sure. What do you got for your dog, Ryan? Well, I have two dogs this week, which is I'm feeling Rare. a little strange about. Chalky. And I, you know what? Last time I'll do it, but I'll give Luis Perez one more go mm. as my dog. Give me, give me the Vipers plus the points. I think St. Mm. Louis might be a little fraudulent. They're kind of in that uh, contenders graphic, wow. I, and I, uh, I think I, I started the season thinking AJ McCarron sucks, and I'm going to finish the season thinking AJ McCarron sucks. Uh, I do like the story about him doing this for his kids, though. Full disclosure. You know, AJ McCarron. Oh my God, I'm so sick of that goddamn story. <laughs> hey, if I'm AJ McCarron's kids, I'd rather watch him hold a clipboard in the NFL and we can go to, you know, Cozumel <laughs> for vacation than listen to the watching him lose to the defenders. For my lock, <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm going. I'm fading the big boys. Uh -oh. Give me the. Oh, wait, sorry. Yeah, I reveal, need to, uh, what are you doing, Sean? Get in the box. Yeah, I Teach some box <laughs> rules here. Yeah, this is the. Uh, if you want. If you want access to the Google Sheet version of the whiteboard, right. sign up for I our Patreon. <laughs> That's I actually a hilarious idea. You have a oh, whiteboard and you perfect. have a Google. Here we go. Give me oh, the wow. Houston yes. Roughnecks for my lock. That's Plus beautiful. two and a half. They're not going to need it. Uh, for my men. dog, give me the Brahmas. Mm. Well, you're in bull country right now. Brahmas get the bounce back. Uh, it's, a, it's a great revenge spot. They're both bad teams. Brahmas pull it out. That's gorgeous. I CJ, that. what do you got? I'm going to go to both games there. I'm going to go um, for the dog Ooh. and the lock. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Until further notice, you're going to you just keep playing. Oh, look, he's got a total in there? Playing or? every Vegas over okay, until, yes, until further yes. notice. I mean, Perez is just on fire. He's a great score, and their defense is a sieve. It'll be a back and forth affair up in the. Uh, Hashtag fan gang. In the scissor lift stadium out there <laughs> in Vegas and the minor league. Spray paint your bones. And then uh, for the dog, I'll take Vegas too, just plus those points one. Yeah. One so you got the Vegas yes. Vipers on the money line. Look yep. at that, plus 145. Yes, and you also like for your lock for the lock the vegas vipers over 32 and a half 42 42 and a half <laughs> oh, so 42 and a half 30, 32 30. is a san antonio yeah. one. Oh, that's a yeah you're right that's an alt uh total if you oh, if yeah. you could back up this. the brink truck and you can find 32 <laughs> on a vegas total are you kidding me that's a team total. that's a that's a definitely an off-market number yeah that's a team total you're gonna want to i mean based on my numbers at least Chuck, <laughs> my very private power numbers that i don't i'm never Ooh, gonna share private with power numbers let me private. erase let me erase the board let me go yeah. They're the same power numbers that had me laying minus uh, six thousand with Purdue the other day. <laughs> Private power Purdue. Oh, you and Fezzik, right? The whole laying, the laying whole debate 000. of still had a winning day. He said <laughs> Fezzik. I love Fezzik said that. I don't know you guys. Multiple... Taylor still had a winning day. Went three and two. So walk us through. Walk us through how you had the winning day <laughs> right, when so you're laying a minus forty five hundred. Multiple touts had a similar story, and then there was this whole debate on the internet because people were calling them idiots. Right because it, it felt like the right thing to do yeah. and oh no they're not an idiot you know if 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 you thought that minus 4500 should have been minus 7000 it's a great bet and you I should know. do it every time i love those dialogues I, I, for me i think there's an easier way to make a hundred dollars yeah <laughs> and, and, and and again like we i've i've get we've talked we've discussed this right it, this is the it's not so much the bet itself you fucking dummies it's the fact that you're swimming in a tout pool when you're giving out <laughs> picks like that. Because right. that is not something that an average person would, A, be able to get down mm -hmm. for enough money for it to be worth their while, and B... It, like, it's just not a, a you, if you if you're betting with a hundred units, you're not going to put all hundred units on a fucking game. It's just stupid. 
So I, all it does is show that you're a tout. Like it puts the tout badge on yes. you because that's the only mm. kind of people that tout bet those. Get, get in the those. box when you're doing this. Uh, you're, Come on. Uh, no, I, <laughs> yeah, this is right. Look right at the camera. Box. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know your take on this, so I don't want to no, put I, you. No. I don't want to put you on a panel you didn't ask to be on. I support know? the emotion. Get in the back. I'm saying yes. <laughs> box it but, up. I mean, honestly, like. Sorry, one more time. Hey, make sure you subscribe to uh, Bottom Line Bombs, where you can hear the man in the box, aka CJ Sullivan. It's on Apple Podcasts. It's on Spotify. Wherever you download your podcasts, do you have another point on there, Ron? Hey, I didn't no. mean to cut you off. Go, oh no, go, no, go, no, go. no! It was. It's. It's. I think I kind of wrapped it up, but it's like it both great. from like a comedic standpoint it's fun like it's funny to see people like legitimately arguing over the math of like if you thought something should have been like i thought it should have been 99.999 percent right. no my power numbers have it 99.9999999 so that extra <laughs> i mean that's essentially what we're talking when you get to the when you're getting to four fig four figure odds so yeah, I don't know. From a comedic value, it's funny that people are arguing about that. And then from just a like, come on, dude, you're missing you're missing the boat if you if you're not understanding what people are saying when they're calling you out for being a fool. It's it, you're because you're at, you're 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 oh, clearly beautiful. you're clearly trying to excel an experience that you can't. <laughs> like, yeah, what, what what is it they say? You wrote a check. Your ass couldn't cash. Uh, Gelati LOL saying, as a nerd, it's safe to say, these fucking nerds. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Right, please don't beautiful. cancel me. Please don't, please don't cancel Kramer. A, and, uh, I can write Python. I'm not. It's, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> I, oh, wow. I have, uh, sorry, another I, humble brag. No, no, no wonder you're on the Vipers. I should do it this way. I have friends that write Python. Oh, wow. So I can oh, say that. Big time flex. Oh, yeah. Man, that is a flex. Speaking of snakes. Hey, make sure you go to youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast. Smash that subscribe button. Oh. Uh, toss us a nice rating review. Enter the sports gambling podcast.com slash golf party uh, so we can hang out together at the Circus Stadium Swim. Ryan will talk to you the entire three days, so uh, don't worry about it. And you get to see Ryan snorkel in the Circa pools. And uh, if you're in the uh, LA area, April 1st, Saturday, 7 30 p.m. at the Ice House. Uh, be there and be square. Legendary. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean, second the Muddy Green, and he is Ryan. Also happy to talk to you at the Ice House. <laughs> Kramer, let it ride.